Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to touch up a few scratches on my new Lexus RX350. There's one of them right there. Somebody wasn't careful putting something into the trunk. And um, what I'm going to use is some touch up paint that I got from the Lexus dealer. It has, it has an applicator that's uh, like a ballpoint pen and it also has a brush. So I'm going to show you how to use the ballpoint pen. And we're going to need a rag and some acetone to clean the surfaces we're going to apply the paint to. Okay, first let's clean the, uh, the little spots where I'm going to touch up. I'm using some acetone. You can use lacquer thinner. You want to use something that will evaporate quickly. And you just want to make sure you're getting dirt or wax, if there's any wax on the car. Just so that the paint will the paint will, will will stick once you put the paint on. I'm gonna go get a two, couple other spots, but uh, I won't show you all the spots. There's three spots I'm gonna to touch up. I'm just gonna clean that one, and I'll get the other two and get back to you. Okay, I cleaned all three spots. And you want to take this and shake it up until you hear that there's a little ball inside there that gets loose. Yeah, mine is stuck. For some reason, there it is. Yeah. This was getting stuck a little bit. I can hear it. And here's a little tricky thing that you have to do. You have to, to use the ballpoint pen top, you have to take this black cover off. That. And then you have to remove that orange cap, and that's going to let the paint flow to the ballpoint tip. So I'm going to need two hands to do that, but I'm showing it to you right there. That orange little inside restrictor has to come out. Okay? So I've got the restrictor out. Now I'm going to uh, just write like you write with a ballpoint pen and see if I can get the paint there. See the paint starts to flow right there that little dot so I know it's flowing out of that tip nice now all I'm gonna go do real easy uh, let me give you a close-up on this I'm just going to take the pen and dab it onto that black that's down to the primer there just like I was filling in and I hope I'm keeping this in frame for you guys and gals. I'm just filling that in. And it's a deep one, so I might come back and do another layer of paint on there. Uh, they say to wait 30 minutes in between uh, applications. Uh, so I'll go around to the other sides. Now, 30 minutes might be a bit long. Uh, today, it's Southern California, good drying day, low humidity. Um, so uh, let me hit the other two spots. Well, we're inside the garage now, so these might not show up as well. And that's a really small spot there. And you can tell it's not a bug speck if you rub your fingernail on it and your fingernail catches. That means it's, it's gone below the surface and it's a chip. Uh, so let me try and get that one. I'm going to go off camera so I can aim this really good. Now what happens is you actually end up putting too much paint on there and it comes up above the surface of all the rest of the paint. But you can polish that down and I may try to polish that down. That Certainly the darkness of the chip is gone now um, but now it's a little bit it's got a little bit too much paint uh, but I think we can fix that. Here's the last one that uh, she got the first the first week that uh, we had the car, so uh, you know how that goes. Anyway, let me go off camera and try and fill that in a bit. And the reason you want to let it dry a little bit is that uh, it'll actually shrink down a little bit um, as it dries out. Uh, so right now I'm going to let those three dry and I'll get back to you in a little bit. Okay, it's been about uh, 
about an hour, good drying day, I told you that. Uh, I'm going to finish this off using a product called Meguiar's Scratch X 2.0. This is a micro abrasive. This is probably the equivalent of wet sanding with like a 2000 uh, sandpaper, 2000 grade sandpaper. Um, but I, I like this better. I actually tried some uh, some sanding with this paper which I don't know what it is it's probably about a 1000 and I tried it on this spot here and I was getting a like a hazy damage uh, look to the clear coat so I stopped using that right away and I switched to this product and it took that out plus it, it smoothed out there were some other little very sm small scratches they're actually so small that it wouldn't be it wouldn't make any sense to put paint on them but I did polish them with this and I'm pretty happy with how it came out let me show you how this goes on it's pretty simple you just take a dab of it onto a microfiber cloth that's probably too much but you know how Froggy's always trying to do things with one hand there. And uh, rub it onto the spot. So let me switch hands now. There. And I've already I've already done this a little bit. I'll do a little bit more. The the little minor tiny scratches are up here and then the place I touched up is right there. So let's just spread it on there. And you can you don't have to worry about going over uh the area, you know, going past the area. This is such a micro abrasive that it, you could it's like polishing your car and then uh, applying a wax afterwards this this is pretty much the equivalent of polishing on your car I'm even going to go out here a little bit I see a few more scratches there and um, really the camera's not going to show this to you but they're coming out these are like micro hairline scratches very 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 tiny and those are coming out and the ones that are a little bit bigger are getting lesser and that paint touch up you're not going to be able, what what you end up trying to do is you don't want your eye drawn to it so you know, let me wipe it now see I had scratches all over here they're gone these are very minor now this you're not going to be able to see it from about two feet away before before when uh, well like uh, Lexus offers a, a free car wash uh, but the guy walks around the car and he ma makes uh, notations of any little imperfections to the paint so you don't blame them for scratching the paint I don't blame them for doing that but he would always find this spot and I'll bet you the next time I go there and get a car wash he's not going to mark that anymore uh, I'm very, very happy with the, the uh, Meguiar's Scratch X 2.0 and the, the dealer touch-up paint was good. Uh, let me show you the other spots. Let me see if I can get a close. There are shadows here and um, there, you can, there you go. Those are the two touch-up places. They actually look a lot worse on the camera than they do to the eye. If you back up about a foot, they pretty much disappear. There's one more second. Now this one here, I'm happy with it, but it's a deep enough chip that what if, if I want it to be better, I need to do another coat. I need to build up the paint and then use the micro abrasive to, to smooth it down. Now see, I can feel still feel that, and you can probably see it. So that needs another coat or two coats of paint to build it up. Uh, I don't know if I'll bother doing that. If I have time, I might try it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the way Froggy touches up with the dealer touch-up paint and then with the uh, Meguiar's. 
Now, I might take that Meguiar's and see if I can find a couple more little uh, spots that are very, very minor scratches, and I might polish them out just because I'm real happy on how it's working, and I want to try it a little bit more. Okay, this is, uh, this is it from Froggy. If this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. If you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's always going to be free. See you later, guys and gals. Froggy out.